Hey guys, quite a very interesting article that is mentioning iPad 3 and I think this is kind of interesting because I mean Apple doesn't even release iPad 2 so why does this article mention iPad 3? Well first of all this is not just a normal article well no it's not this is an article or this is the daring fireball.net website and it's made by John Gruber if you don't know who that guy is then he is like the biggest tech geek or the biggest Apple geek that you could find he is a geek and he is like the most respected Apple geek of all time and he have very good predictions before and he is just an awesome person and he got 230,000 subscribers to his RSS feed and you know when he writes a new article it will get comments every other big site will you know talk talk about it you know make articles about it like yeah you know these Gizmodo and Gadget you know all of these really big tech sites okay so let's you know cut to the chase here let's talk about the iPad 3 so basically to make it kind of simple he thinks that Apple is going to move the current iPad every time okay they've only released one iPad right now but the Apple's release schedule for new products it's it's pretty easy to predict you know we have the new iPods that come yearly in September then we have the new iPhones that come at this or they get announced at this WWDC world no I'm not sure what that name was but on this WWDC in June they present their new products and their new iPhones so it's kind of easy to predict when Apple is going to release their products and now we have only one iPad that have been released so basically what he thinks they're going to do is they're going to move the iPad's current release schedule the, the last year, 2010 they released the first iPad early like in January and he said that they did that just because they were, you know, they, they didn't have that much competition. That's why they released it early and, you know, announced it pretty early. The same thing they did with the iPhone. So, he, he, he doesn't think that his current release schedule for iPad is good, you know, to release them early on the air. He, he doesn't think that's so good. So, he thinks that Apple is going to move this release schedule to release new iPads from from early on the year to the same time when Apple is presenting their new iPods so he thinks that we're going to see iPad 3 in September and why would we have you know an iPad 3 why would we have two iPads the same year well okay let's say they didn't release this iPad 3 and let's say they want to move the time where they release the iPads to September so let's say the next iPad 3 then it would be released 2012 in September and that would be one and a half year from when they released the iPad 2 and that is so long time so that is why he thinks that Apple is going to release two iPads this year and not like release a new iPad like every six months but just this year so they could get back on track to release one iPad every single year at the same time when they release the new iPod so I think this is very interesting because he thinks that iPad 3 is going to have iOS 5.1 with the same OS as new iPods hopefully will be running and he thinks that we are going to see the iPad 2 a early release in or that Apple is going to announce it in March and then you know ship it and do all these good things in early April so very 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 interesting an iPad 3 hopefully we'll see an iPad 3 in this year so basically you know what that means if you're planning to buy the iPad 2 don't come here and complain when the iPad 3 is here if it's going to be here in 2011 so that's kind of cool and yeah 
we love rumors, we love this guy. If you want to read this awesome article and it, you know mention some other tablets that yeah another tablet got released today actually, and I'm going to make another video about that. So yeah, see you.